Welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to be discussing ID diode example. We're going to see how we can determine if an ID diode is conducting or not conducting in a circuit. So we have an example shown here where we have VS has been equal to 12 volts, VB is 11 volts, R1 is 5 ohm, R2 is equal to R3 equal to 10 ohm. And now the question is, we want to determine if this ID diode is conducting. So to solve a problem like this, we have to consider two scenarios. First of all, we want to assume that the diode is not conducting. And if the diode is not conducting, therefore, the diode acts as an open circuit. So let us consider that first. So first, assume the diode is not conducting. So let's draw the circuit to show that the diode is not conducting. Here the diode acts as an open circuit. Alright, we have five we have five ohm ten ohm ten ohm twelve volts and 11 volts. So by applying voltage divider rule, we have that V1 will be equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 Vs. That is equal to 10 over 5 plus 10 times 12. That gives us 8 volts. Then applying KVL on the right hand mesh, we have that V1 will be equal to VD plus VB, where VD will be equal to V1 minus VB, which is 8 minus 11 and that gives minus 3 volts so since vd is equal to minus 3 volt that is a negative value it shows that the diode the conclusion is that the diode is reversed biased the diode is reversed biased that is not conducting but before we can conclude we want to also look at the second assumption so in this assumption, we saw that the diode is not conducting and our analysis also proved that to be so. So let's look at the other assumption where the diode is conducting and let's see what it will give us. So secondly, assume the diode is conducting. So let's look at the circuit to show that the diode is conducting. And of course, if the diode is conducting, the diode is going to act as a short circuit. So the switch is closed. They have VS, R1, R2, R3, VB. They have V1, VD. Alright, so let us apply Kershaw's current law. Now, by Kershaw's current law, we're going to have that the current IS is going to split between I1 and ID. So, current IS, by Kershaw's current law, the current IS will be equal to I1 plus ID. Our current IS is giving us Vs minus V1 over R1 correct i1 is v1 over r2 
and correct id is v1 minus vb var 3 and so if we collect like terms we have vs var 1 plus vb var 3 is equal to v1 var 1 plus v1 var 2 plus v1 var 3 which is equal to v1 into 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 all right so substituting the values vs is 12 5 plus vb is 11 over 10 is equal to v1 into 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 and that will give us v1 is equal to 2.5 into 2.4 plus 1.1 which is equal to 8.75 volt now since v1 is less than vb since v1 is less than vb it shows that the second assumption is wrong because usually current will flow from higher potential to lower potential and we assume here the current id flows from v1 to vd but since uh, to vb since vb is higher than v1 current cannot flow in that direction it will flow in the opposite direction therefore the diode is reverse bias and will not conduct current so that's how to solve a problem where you have a diode id diode in the circuit and you want to determine whether the diode conducts current or not so you first assume that it does not conduct like we saw in this case we assume that the diode does not conduct our first assumption and we saw that the diode is reverse biased since it doesn't conduct because vd is equal to minus volt. and then we looked at the second assumption where the diode is conducting and at the end we also saw that from our analysis the diode is reverse bias it is not forward bias so in both instances we see that the diode is not conducting so that is all for this class see you in the next class